GoPro, be a hero. Alright guys, hey, it's soon to be Pilot55. We are back here with a new video on how to do dual monitors on Flight Simulator X. Uh, this will be a more refreshing of my other separate video. So first of all, um, with your computer that you should have is uh, recently, well actually, actually, last Black Friday, which was 2011 Black Friday, I got a brand new computer, an HP. It's got a Core i7 and a Radeon graphics card in there. I think it's the 6770. Other than that, um, first of all, um, so I got the two main displays again. Uh, that's how I used to have it. Um, so I got the two main displays. I got a Sony, or Samsung, my bad, and an Envision. So with the computer I have, and this is similar to the one on my other computer, I have a, um, Alveo, uh, which is an HDMI cord that I bought at my local Radio Shack. It was around $29 to $25. That transfers from an HDMI port into a DVI port, which will run into that monitor, as you can see there. The other one is just an original VGA cord, uh, which is the blue that runs into this monitor. Uh, next thing, once you plug that in, what it will actually do is, um, come out, come out as, uh, duplicated screens. So when you do that, all you're gonna have to do is go and go to your, uh, actually, you wanna go to your control panel, switch out the settings. It's pretty simple. There, uh, let's just go to, appearance. Then you're gonna go to, just screen resolution. There you want to adjust your two screens, uh, 1680, choose your best resolution, and on each one you currently just want to click extend desktop to this display on both. And then you hit apply, so on, and then you should be able to drag across, etc, etc. If you can do that, you know, you're perfectly as well fine. The next thing you're going to want to do for FSX is go and, uh, Start up Flight Simulator X, and uh, in the while in the meantime that is starting up, I'm gonna go ahead and actually grab on my Mac here for a second. Check out my new YouTube video on. Um, recently, I've been starting flying lessons. Uh, I recently had my fourth flying lesson. Started recording it with my GoPro Hero 3. Uh, for all you people out there, it's a great, great camera. Check it out, GoPro HD fourth flying lesson Piper Warrior. I uh, got all the audio as well as everything. So yeah, I need more subscribers, more views, and uh, this channel can grow a lot. Another thing is check out my buddy uh, Mr. Aviation 101 for more flight aviation videos as well. Um, definitely, I've been following him for a long, long time, and great, great guy. So. Alright guys, uh, soon to be out back here with the other section of the video. Once you go ahead and get your Flight Simulator X started, um, so here's the thing what I do is usually I don't run Flight Simulator X in full screen. I run it in, um, like I run it full screen but it's maximized. So I can use other programs to run with FSX as, uh, as like FS uh, Commander as other videos like that. So just to make sure, just to show you that this everything works, uh, make sure you set your displays and your settings. And just uh, let the aircraft load up here. All right. Um, out of any of your aircraft, I can just have a lot of aircraft. So let's just choose the, um, uh, let's just try the Carinado Cessna 152-2, and we'll just spawn this at a local airport, 
and then we can really see how I run it in maximized maximized view as well as and then I run my other applications on that monitor okay all right so there's a 152 uh, by the way Carnotto did a great job with that aircraft and so let's go ahead and go into full view which you, if you want to do that it's alt enter and that resolution is very messed up because I don't fly in full screen, as I said. So if you wanted to just, let's say, move your GPS, so you just grab that. You can drag that over there, you know, whatever you want. All of this, so, what you can do is, when if you're not in full screen view, as that comes out a lot better now, is you can right-click it and click on Undock Window, which will put this as its own separate window, which you could move it over to in your monitor, monitors, extend it, do whatever you want, make it as big as you want, etc. etc. All right, guys, well, that was all our instruction on how to do the dual monitors for Flight Simulator X. If you have any other questions, just comment in the chat in the I guess comment section. So subscribe to the channel, like, and check out my new video, as well as many more to come, and as well check out Mr. Aviation 101. Thanks, guys. See ya.